Thank you very much for coming in. Um, we're quite tight for time this morning, so we will, uh, I think, save by not having long formal introductions. Um, uh, I'm hoping to get through this session in about 40 minutes or so. Um, could I start with the two representatives from Stop Smart Meters? Uh, I'd like if you would just to outline to the committee for the record what your main concerns are about smart meters. Good morning, everyone. Uh, at Stop Smart Meters UK, we've got five main areas of concern. Um, the first two are related specifically to um, pulsed microwave radio frequency radiation, which is linked to sm uh, wireless smart meters. Um, so those concerns are firstly health risks. Um, there are thousands of studies which are showing biological effects at well levels well below the ICN IRP safety levels um, and evidence of harm um, from the radiation could be acute. Um, studies have shown links with headaches, insomnia, anxiety, depression, uh, memory and concentration problems, arrhythmias, things like that. And then chronic effects um, from long-term exposure such as cancer, um, infertility, dementia, genetic damage, immune system dysfunction and damage to fetuses. Um, we, have, uh, we are aware of many respected organisations who are calling for a precautionary approach um, regarding exposure to this sort of radiation, particularly for children. Um, so we're very concerned that the proposed um, smart meter rollout is, is with wireless technology rather than wired technology. Um, the other issue related, which we're concerned about, which relates to this radio frequency radiation is um, the environmental impact that that can have. Uh, there are hundreds of studies showing biological effects and harm from this sort of uh, radiation to plants, trees, animals, insects, including bees and migratory species. Um, birth defects have been seen reported in calves, um, fertility problems in herds who've been exposed to this sort of radiation. Um, and also, it, we feel that it's not very green to use wireless technology, um, and that would be backed up by the Melbourne Centre of Ener Energy Efficient Communications, who have commented on wireless technology that it is the modern way, but wireless is an energy monster. It is just inherently inefficient. So we feel that that would go against the claim that smart meters are green. Um, our other main concerns uh, around smart meters are to do with cyber security, um, problems um, to do with hacking into um, your uh, smart meter. You're effectively putting your home and therefore the country's utility supplies onto the internet. This will be vulnerable to hacking, cyber warfare, cyber attacks, and also solar activity if it's a wireless um, system. Uh, we have issues around data privacy. Um, the European Data Protection Supervisor last year said that smart meters enable massive collections of personal data which can track what members of a household do within the privacy of their own homes. We're very concerned as to who will have access to that data and um, what they will do with the data. And finally, our area of concern is um, higher bills for consumers. Um, we are aware of a survey in Toronto that found that after a year of installation of a smart meter, 80% of homes had higher bills. And often this was over 50% higher than they'd had pre prior to smart meters. And similar stories have been reported in the US. So are right, okay, that's a fairly comprehensive list. We'll return to some of those points uh, in, in a few minutes' time. Can I just ask our other two witnesses whether they have any concerns uh, about the use of smart meters? Can I just um, summarise the Public Health England view? Um, you'll probably be aware that Public Health England, which I call PHE, took over the responsibilities of the Health Protection Agency on the 1st of April. We're, we're quite new, but we're doing the same job to advise the um, government statutory role to advise on, on the public health implications of radio waves. Um, we're clearly aware of all the concerns that have been expressed around the world about smart meters and other radio wave technologies uh, and we also know that in some cases it's difficult for the public to access um, accurate information about them. But there is a substantial body of scientific evidence about the effects of exposure to radio waves and there are internationally agreed guideline levels for limiting exposures that have been set based on this evidence and based on the levels at which effects are found. From what we know about smart meters already, um, those used in the UK in a small way and elsewhere, 
the radio wave exposures from smart meters are small in relation to a lot of other um, radio frequency applications and very small in relation to the guideline levels. And in particular, the exposures to members of the public are likely to be thousands of times lower than those they would get from using a mobile phone. That's the summary. Very helpful. Thank you. Um, can I just say on the record that I'm representing today the Institution of Engineering and Technology. My day job is with National Grid, um, but I am not representing any part of industry today, and National Grid does not have a direct interest in smart meters. Um, the, the institution and myself completely recognise that there is some scientific evidence relating to health effects, and that scientific evidence mandates further research. It mandates keeping a very close eye on any scientific developments, um, and it mandates having in place a system to ensure the correct protection of the public. Uh, that system is in place through authoritative international and national review bodies who review the science, and then bodies such as has already been mentioned, the International Commission on Non-Ionising Radiation Protection, ICNERP, who set exposure limits, and the technologies that will be used in smart meters will comply with those exposure limits, as my colleague Dr Miller said, by, in fact, a remarkably large margin for various reasons. And we consider that that is the necessary reassurance that the public are being protected. We, we need a system to protect the public, um, and in the shape of the exposure guidelines, we do have such a system. Um, and any residual concerns should not be sufficient to halt the rollout of the Smart Meter programme. Thank you. Dr. Mira, can I ask, because the HPA had said that we'd be conducting independent assessments of exposures from Smart Meters in the UK as the programme is rolled out. Has that work actually started now? We've assessed exposure to the public based on several factors so far. Firstly, what we know about the technical parameters of the existing systems. We've looked at, at measurement reports from other countries and we've done a very small number of preliminary measurements with meters that are currently in use in the UK and all those data concur with one another. We have to await the detailed assessments until decisions have been made on the specific technology that's going to be rolled out in the UK, because otherwise we'd have tested the wrong type of technology and people would, I think, rightly complain that, that we haven't hit, hit the right target. What we'll do when we've done those studies is use them to confirm the predictions that we've made from the evidence we've got at the moment to allow more com precise comparisons between smart meters and other technologies that people might use or have in their homes and also to provide more reassurance about the levels of exposure and the compliance well below the ICNERP guidelines. I mean, do, do, do you feel that maybe some of that should have been done before meters start to go into people's homes? That would require a, a, an early decision on what type of meters were going to be used. I don't think that the um, potential exposures justify that because if they look like ducks and quack like ducks and all the ones we've measured and used elsewhere are ducks, I don't think it's very likely that you're going to get high exposures from the meter solution that's actually used in the UK because technically they just haven't got that much oomph in them.